enterprises are no longer testing the waters. They've already done that. Now they're really gearing up to sprint. In fact, we had uh, commissioned uh, a research uh, with uh, IDC being our research partner last year. Uh, it was uh, called the Data and AI Pulse, Asia Pacific uh, 2024 report. And uh, what we found there was really interesting, right? Uh, nearly 43% of organizations plan to boost AI investments by over 20% in the next 12 months. And okay. uh, a good 40% really expect their AI uh, ROI to triple, right? So uh, if you look at that, uh, yet despite that optimism, there is a maturity gap because only 18% we found in this study are true AI leaders, right? And they, they are the ones who are really investing for long-term transformation. Otherwise, you know, 44% of Indian organizations that were surveyed remained focused on short-term functional projects, right? So what that tells us is really that there is a lot of hype around things like Gentech, Gen AI, but the maturity is not quite there yet, right? So that's number one. Secondly, you know, AI is also about uh, orchestration. It's not just purely a technology play but it's more about uh, you know, orchestration. And in that orchestration aspect, we, we see that uh, Indian organizations often face persistent skill shortages, data governance hurdles. We have uncertainty around AI investment costs. And also there's a lot of um, uh, you know, uh, pull and push around which business cases to prioritize. And often that, all of that leads to uh, a struggle to really demonstrate very clear ROI. So I think while we're seeing Indian banks, insurers, and government agencies going from pilot to, to uh, production, uh, we certainly believe that you know the, the real value will come from broader business transformation. And that means uh, really looking at entire workflows and uh, decision making in general being completely reimagined. Right? So in summary, I think uh, there is a gold rush around AI, and there is also belief in this promise, which is great. But you know, it's also becoming increasingly clear that it's not about who has the fanciest algorithm. It's more about who can really cut through the hype and manage to scale, govern, and then build trust. Um, and that's that's where uh, you know the winners of tomorrow will will emerge. We are very clear that our AI roadmap is not going to be just about technology. It's also going to be about trust, scale, and impact. And uh, our strategy is really to make um, uh, the AI journey for our clients much more practical as well as responsible. So uh, there are three layers, really. One is the, the infrastructure and the foundation. And that's a, that's a very important piece because uh, we, we are committed to making sure that the infrastructure really scales responsibly. So our we have we have invested in the SaaS wire platform, which is cloud native, and that kind of serves as the backbone for AI de development as well as deployment. Now, this particular platform really supports a scalable and secure and flexible environment that really allows businesses and enterprises to build, run, as well as govern AI models very efficiently. Right. So CIOs and IT leaders can really deploy AI where their data lives. Um, more recently, we have also invested in uh, in bringing co-pilots. So it's basically a SaaS wire co-pilot, which is an AI-driven conversational assistant, which is embedded directly into the SaaS wire platform. And that kind of gives developers as well as data scientists and business users a very uh, easy and you know natural way to interact with with analytics and also really that helps answer questions in a much easier and faster manner and also you know take on uh, many of those business uh, tasks that otherwise uh, would have been a little more uh, you know a little more uh, cumbersome to to uh, manage um, just as importantly wire now also incorporates an agentic ai framework and that enables enterprises to bring autonomy to analytics. And that can by basically creating trusted agents that can act, learn, and then you know orchestrate track tasks. And all of that comes within a framework of governance. And of course, we are, uh, uh, we are building human oversight as part of that. 
So that's um, that's number one. Second one, it would be really from a data standpoint. So the second pillar is data readiness. Um, and that's the lifeblood because you know AI is only as good as the data that it's learning from. So our roadmap again there from, from a data readiness standpoint focuses on data governance, lineage and trust, right? Uh, we wanna make sure that we are embedding responsible AI by design. There is explainability, bias detection, compliance, because again, you know, trust is not a feature. It's a, it's a primary foundation of how AI needs to operate. Uh, we're also pioneering uh, synthetic data generation, uh, again, uh, through our data maker tool, and that's addressing a very critical challenge, which is access to getting access to high quality and privacy preserving data, right? So uh, that's on the data readiness front. And finally, possibly most importantly, uh, AI must align with business. Right? So our vision is really to close the gap between what's uh, getting innovated on the AI front and the business outcomes. So for advanced users, our platforms really allow them to build train and scale custom AI models. And for business functions, uh, we, we provide pre-built domain specific solutions across uh, areas such as fraud detection, customer intelligence, risk, uh, as well as supply chain. So this way, you know, the organizations are not just experimenting with AI, but they're also embedding it right into their decision-making process. So I think uh, the journey of embedding AI into the enterprise uh, decision-making framework really re demands a clear and disciplined strategy. Right? Because uh, first of all, there is so much of change that all IT leaders need to deal with because uh, you know there was Gen AI yesterday, which was ruling the roost today. Agentic AI is grabbing the headlines, uh, but you know there's this shiny toy syndrome that one needs to to contend with, right? As a, so the job of the leader today is to really um, to ignore the shiny uh, toy syndrome and start uh, focusing on you know what is the right right AI technique uh, to apply in a particular business problem, right? So whether it's machine learning computer vision, NLP, or something else. So I think uh, that's number one. Uh, it's a composite set of techniques, so we need to choose the right AI uh, tool for the right for the job. Uh, second is I think uh, AI is a boardroom conversation, and there's a very real pressure uh, on the leadership to do something about it, right? So uh, there is hype, there is rapid new advancement, and then there is pressure to kind of contend with. So I think CIOs have to kind of still guard against uh, being enamored with all the hype and losing sight of this discourse. Um, so just because AI is powerful doesn't mean that every problem requires AI and uh, every problem needs to be solved through AI. Right? So I think the real advantage uh, comes from applying AI thoughtfully to create smarter decision-making processes that really drive the competitive edge for the business. So that's uh, that's second, and then thirdly, I think uh, there's a critical need for data readiness, and as well as uh, organization maturity. So these two, I would say, are foundational pillars for an any AI initiative to succeed. So uh, the best ones out there are built on well-governed, high-quality data, and there is a very strong collaboration between uh, business, IT, as well as uh, data science team, right? Because without these foundational elements, uh, scaling AI is like uh, building skyscrapers on sand. Right? So um, that's uh, so those two pillars are very important, and it's more of a marathon. Uh, building data governance, cultivating skills, uh, encouraging the cultural acceptance of AI are uh, are very important, and it takes time. Uh, it's not uh, not as easy as just uh, you know procuring a license. Right? So uh, once you have all of this is when you can really run with AI agents that can amplify uh, not just the capability of technology, but also human capabilities, right? So uh, in a sense, I think uh, these are the three or four important, uh, uh, I would say, uh, you know, takeaways uh, because number one being picking the right uh, AI tools for the right job. Second being anchoring these AI initiatives to business objectives. 
Um, third being investing in data quality, governance, and guardrails. And finally, fostering uh, collaboration and change management to really get humans ready for this AI powered uh, transformations. So, those are more, would be my four uh, top level tips.